Well, Kathy, I'm just uh, in the DIA area right now, and that first wave of storms that came through put down one and one and a half inches of water in just a about a half hour. So we had some very high street flooding briefly, and that's starting to diminish now. But now we're watching that second wave, and you talked about that storm cell that hit the Cameron Peak burn scar. That has moved down onto the front range, brought out a flash flood warning in the Firestone, Decono area. And let me take a quick look at this storm because it's uh, moving now towards the north of DIA. You can see this is that storm cell that hit the Cameron Peak burn scar and now it's going to move uh, just towards I-76 near Keensburg right now and it's putting down in a lot of water. You can see the structure of this storm as it moves in. You kind of got the uh, shelf cloud up here on top and then right down here on the bottom you can kind of see a little bit of some low hanging clouds. That's technically a wall cloud. It's not a rotating wall cloud, but it's an indication that there's a lot of business inside that storm that's working its way towards the ground. So we're watching this one that'll just kind of move past the north and east of the Denver metro area over the next uh, 15, 20 minutes here past Keensburg and down to the north of DIA. So we're, keep, we're still keeping an eye on these cells. It's, uh, you know, guys, it's impressive. None of these storms have actually hit severe limits, but they have caused a lot of problems with all the water that's been coming down out of these storms. Yeah, and it keeps coming. All right, Corey, with the latest, we'll uh, get back to Corey Repenegan with more out east as the weather evolves through this Monday, excuse me, this Wednesday, Thursday afternoon.